the tree to clap. The Bible says that if you don't raise a more noise to the Lord, the rocks will. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not a tree and I'm not a rock in spite of what people might think. So I'm going to praise the Lord and I'm going to shout. It's all about our Jews. All about our Jews. You know, we've been through a lot. We've been through a lot together. Amen. That says something. Amen. We're still strong. We still put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Amen. We still believe in the resurrection power of our Lord. Amen. When I say resurrection power, I'm not only saying when this life leaves as we know it, I'm talking about the resurrected power of whatever might be holding you down, whatever might be holding you back, whatever it might be. We have resurrected power in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So with that, I would like to have another shout to the Lord. Woo! I was blessed this morning with some new dancers. And that touches my heart. That touches my heart very deeply. But what I want to share this morning to as many people, God bless y'all out there. I pray blessings upon you. That whatever you might be going through, God says, turn it over to me and I'll take care of it. In the name of Jesus. But those who know God's name, God gives protection to those who will come into his presence. Some might say, yeah, well, how come sickness is here? And how come this is here and that? When Jesus comes back the second time, there will be no more. Amen. But right now, Amen. but right now, we need the protection of our Lord. Amen. And I share you a story. My mother-in-law who passed away and the year 2000 with the ice storm up here. Had lung, a spot on the lung. And the doctor wanted to operate. But my mother-in-law was from the old set of people that said, what you cut in air gets to it, it's gonna grow. She said, oh no, no, you're not operating on me. We had prayer. Me and my daughter, my wife, we had prayer in Independence, Louisiana. And you know what? That spot didn't grow any bigger. That spot was not removed, but it did not grow any bigger. God had that spot in his hands. Yeah. And when she passed on, it wasn't from cancer, by the way. So God worked the way God wants to work. And we get into trouble when we tell God how we want him to work instead of getting out the way and letting him do what he wants to do. But God gives protection, and that's what I want to share this morning to all. To all those who will come into his presence. The Lord is a shelter to those who trust him. And we know what a shelter is. It's a structure that gives protection from the elements of the world. The heat, the rain, the cold. To a believer, God is a shelter that protects one from the elements of this world that we are living in today. And I'll be honest with all, I've never seen so much hatred that's going on in this country today. And I'm assuming it's worldwide. I've never seen so much hatred. <clears throat> My Jesus, for those who put their faith and trust in Jesus, and they have hatred in their heart, and I say they need to get on their knees and ask for forgiveness, and ask for the power of the Holy Spirit to come and live in their life. Amen. I don't know how I can hate a brother, no matter where that brother might be, or sister. No matter where this person might be, and expect the Lord to love and forgive me while I'm hating. Amen. Now, I, I might be stepping on some toes, but it's time for some to toes to be stepped on. Amen. And if you got a, a, your shoes, your boots, has got that steel, hard toe, don't worry about it. We'll get something even stronger to pump, bop, to run on through. <laughs> Praise God. That's the power of God. But we need to come.
come, people would really do. Amen. But look, we need to come and love and respect people. Amen. Respect them. Love them and respect them. Amen. Those who know God. Verse 10. Mike, do we have it up there? And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, for thou, Lord, hath not forsaken them that seek him. That's the promise that we have. And put that in your hearts. Those who know God. Those who know God will put their trust in Him. My trust is in Jesus. There's nothing that I can do for myself. There's nothing I can do. Oh, I might think I can do this. I might think I can do that. But without the power of God, there's nothing that I can do that will last. And we need to, we need to put our faith and trust in the one who will give us protection. To know to know someone is to be familiar with that someone. We need to be familiar with God. I can say I know someone. If I see them walking down the street or wherever they might be, oh, I know that person. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Could be doing better. Uh, they tell me it's another day without dirt over my whatever it is. I don't know. But that doesn't mean I really know that person. To know that person, you have to spend time with that person. You have to know that person because you have spent time and you know that person. Knowing someone is not just their name. You need to spend time with that person. And that's what God is telling us right now. Spend time with me. Get to know me. I know you believe in my salvation. I know you believe in my son Jesus. But it's time for you to be still and calm and sit beside me and allow me to reveal myself to you in order for you to know me. I know you, but do you know me in an intimate way? And that's what God is telling this church today. Amen. And I believe this virus, I believe this virus is going to bring some people closer together and some people further apart. Amen. 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 To know... Excuse me. To know someone is to be familiar with that someone. And I want to be familiar, but in a Christian way with each one of us. If any of y'all out there wants to come to a worship service and you're in the West Monroe area, give me a call and come on. Amen. And we'll just worship the Lord and we, 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 we just have a great time praising Jesus. That's what it's all about. Jesus will take you where you are right now and bring you where he wants you to be tomorrow. Amen. Now I believe that. I believe it. Amen. How can you know someone if you're not familiar with that someone? You've got to be familiar. We need to be familiar with each one in the name of Jesus. One might find them saying, saying, I know that person, but in reality, if that one isn't familiar with that certain one, then that certain one is not really known. That's a lot of words in one sentence. But it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. To know God is to be familiar with God. And why do you think? Why do you think Satan is trying so hard to keep the doors of our churches across this nation and across this world closed? To keep people from being familiar with the creator of this universe. Amen. And if, he, if Satan can do that through whatever means, Satan is well on to a so-called victory, he thinks. But there will be people just like us at the Father's house that we will remain faithful to Jesus, we will remain faithful to the Word of God, and we will remain faithful, and we want to know more about Jesus. Can I have that? I want to know more about you. Well, some, some very highly intelligent person would come in and say, well, brother, you're a pastor. You're supposed to know it all. I say this right now to those who say that. If I think I know it all, I don't know anything because every day is a learning experience in the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. You tell me someone who thinks that someone knows it all, and I'll show you someone I don't want to put gas in my car. Because I think they might take the radiator cap off if it's got one and put gas in it. I need someone to, and that knows how to put gas in a car. Don't tell me what you know. Show me what 
what you know. Amen.
Those who know God want to spend time with God. To be seen with the Lord. How can you be seen with the Lord? That's a good question. How can you be seen with the Lord? Well, it's simple. This is not hard. Live like the Lord is right there with you. And you won't be doing things you ain't supposed to be doing. You're not going to be meeting with a bunch of men with off color jokes. You ain't going to be doing this and you ain't going to be doing that. Because people can see God in you. And that's the same thing as God beside you. If you let Jesus be with you all the time, you ain't going to do things that go contrary to the Word of God. Yeah. Oh, I love Jesus, but I don't like those people over there. I don't like those people over there. You better get on your knees. Because right. Jesus' blood is for everybody. Amen. It ain't just for you. It ain't just for the Baptists. It ain't just for the Pentecostals. And it ain't just for those of the Church of Christ. I was raised up in Church of Christ, by the way. It's for all. All. Did I have an amen? Amen. I want to be seen with the Lord. But you know, I have a problem coming up. I used to go to McDonald's before they shut it down. Early in the morning and have breakfast. But I would sit at the table and people would come for prayer. I'm getting used to not going and I'm saving a few dollars. Amen. Without their sins. This is what my sweet, sweet, sweet wife said. And all the sweets is capital letters, by the way. <laughs> But what about those people that come for prayer? I had to have a smart plan to get by. I almost talked myself out of that door. And here she comes with all this wisdom. I told you I'm married the best. Amen. I know Brother Sherman married the best too. Amen. I don't have perfect hearing. 
If you're talking real low, I can't hear you. So y'all have a little mercy with me. And if you don't want nobody to hear what you're saying, just get me into a corner so I can hear you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Somebody said, well, get you here. I got something. I put them things in the water for two days and I almost made my right ear go dead. I, I, I couldn't hear nothing out of this thing. I said, baby, I don't need something. I need something to let me hear better. The, the Holy Spirit said, well, just let me hang. I said, okay, you got it. <laughs> Amen. It ain't in there no more, baby. It ain't in there. Amen. Hallelujah. God will let me know what I need to hear. And what I don't need to hear, just smile. <laughs> Amen. church is born. Come to the Father's house. We'll give you a shovel. We've got some work to be done. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> God reveals himself to those who want to know him. And I want y'all to know this. God will not leave you behind. Amen. God will not allow you to be left to the wills of the world. World wants to drag you down. The world wants to keep you down. God wants to turn you loose. In order for you to be all that God wants you to be. God will not desert you. And that's very important. That's very important. No matter what the times might bring. But the power of God will bring you right where He wants you to be. Amen. Those who know God, those who know God knows. They know they know God's character. They got they know God's nature. They know what God is like. Yes, it is so easy to put one's total trust in God when one knows this about God. And this is very important right now for anyone out here. In the congregation or anyone out there. Do you know Jesus as your Savior? Don't say what well, I think. I ask you a question. Do you know Jesus as your Savior? And maybe, maybe you've been questioning yourself. That you know you need something greater than what you have. And that something greater is Jesus Christ. Amen. Just confess your sins and say, Lord, I believe and I trust and I want, to, I want you to walk with me. I commit my life to you. Just say this prayer in the name of Jesus. And the Holy Spirit will do the rest. He will guide you. He will direct you. He will give you the spiritual gift that you need. So I pray for this church right now. That we can be all that we can be. To bring glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. And it's in His name we pray. Amen. Amen.